Hi everybody, today I'm gonna be making my first video here in my new kitchen and I'm gonna be making a big pot of chicken tortilla soup. This is a very easy recipe and it's perfect any time of the year. And today I'm gonna show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. Now I'm gonna be preparing my chicken tortilla soup in this big pot and it's getting ready to come up to a boil. And it's at this time that I'm gonna add my chicken. I have two bone-in chicken breasts, and these are large. Now I removed the skin from one chicken breast and I left the skin on the other because this is what's gonna give our chicken tortilla soup a delicious flavor. But you don't wanna leave the skin on both because then it's gonna be very, very greasy. And I'm gonna wait until it comes up to a light boil, just like that. So while I wait for my chicken to come up to a boil, I'm gonna grind my spices. I have one teaspoon of peppercorn, and one teaspoon of whole cumin. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because that helps to grind these spices like that. Now you can use store-bought ground spices, but I like to grind my spices in my molcajete because this is what gives it a delicious, homemade, authentic flavor. So now that I have my peppercorn and my cumin nice and ground, I'm gonna add my garlic cloves. I have three large garlic cloves. I'm gonna cut them into pieces because it's a lot easier to grind like this, see? I'm gonna add a little bit of water in here so I can bring all my spices in together like this. See? Now I'm gonna set this aside until I'm ready to use it and we can move on to our next step. Now as you can see, the water is at a low boil like this and I am removing all the protein that is forming up at the top. You don't want this protein up here on the top because it'll make your soup real murky. So I like to remove it all like this. So now that I have removed all the protein, I'm gonna add two chile guajillo. Now, as you can see, I have removed the seeds from the inside and they're nice and clean. And there's two of them. I'm gonna put them in here so they can get nice and soft. And I'm gonna add my onions. I have half of a medium onion here. I'm also adding two green onions with a green part also because I like the combination of the two flavors together. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. You can add better than bouillon if you wanna use that instead. I'm gonna add two large bay leaves. And I'm gonna add all my spices from the molcajete. Gonna add a little bit of the water here. We wanna get all these spices. And that's good. So I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna wait until the water comes up to a boil and my chicken is well cooked. So while everything is cooking on the stove, I'm gonna prepare my tortilla chips. I've got corn tortillas right here and I'm gonna cut them into thin strips. You don't want them too thick, but not too thin either and just cut them in half like this because you don't want them too long and that's good. And I'm gonna put them into this bowl. Now I'm gonna add some light olive oil in here. See? And I'm gonna add a little smoked paprika to give it some nice color and a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna toss these around you wanna make sure that they're all lightly coated with oil. This really beats frying them on the stove in hot oil. So I've tossed them really well and they have beautiful color on them. I'm gonna put them on this cookie sheet right here and I've lined it up with aluminum foil because I think that it's easier to clean that way. I'm gonna spread them out. Now I've got my oven preheated at 400 degrees. I'm gonna put them right in the center and every few minutes, I'm gonna go in and toss them around until they're nice and crispy and they have beautiful color. So I have my tortilla chips in the oven. Now I'm gonna to toast my bread. Not everybody likes to eat toasted bread with a tortilla soup, but my Ron and I absolutely love it. So I usually prepare the tortilla chips and the toast, but you can leave it out if you like. Now I'm gonna rub a little bit of butter like this on both sides, just lightly because this is gonna give it a beautiful golden color and crunch. So I've got them all buttered. Now I'm gonna cut them in half the long way. 
You don't want real big pieces of bread, but just cut in half is perfect. And I'm gonna put them on this cookie sheet, just like I did the tortilla strips. So now I have them spread out and I'm gonna put them in the oven along with the tortilla chips. And I'm also gonna be flipping these around until they're just perfect, golden brown and toasty. So now I'm ready to remove my two chile guajillos from my pot because they're nice and soft and they're ready to blend. And here's the other one. Now we can take this to the blender. So I'm gonna put my chile guajillos right here in my blender cup. And I'm gonna add some of the broth that's in the pot. I took some out and let it cool down a little bit. This is about a cup, but it doesn't matter because you're gonna put it right back in. And I'm gonna add some of my home canned tomatoes, about a cup and a half. Good. Now I'm gonna blend it. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. I'm just gonna let it sit here for just a little bit and I'm gonna move on to my next step. So I just checked my chicken and it's perfectly cooked. I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna put it into this bowl. I'm gonna cover it lightly and I'm gonna wait until it cools down a little bit and then I'm gonna chop it up really good. So now that I'm waiting for my chicken to cool down a little bit, I'm gonna add my celery. This is one large celery rib, and I've cut it up into small pieces like this. This is gonna give our tortilla soup a delicious flavor. And I'm gonna add half of a medium-sized orange bell pepper. And I have one jalapeno. I have removed the seeds and the veins and then into slices, see? I'm gonna add it in here. Now this is not gonna make it really hot, but it's gonna give it a nice little kick. I'm gonna add half a cup of rice. This is long grain rice and it's clean and it's been rinsed really well and it's dry. And I'm gonna add one can of black beans and these are very well rinsed. I'm gonna add them all in here. And I'm gonna add one can of sweet corn, liquid and all. Now I'm gonna add all my blender mixture. Now this is very well blended, so you don't have to pass it through your sieve. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Now I'm gonna replace my lid, and I'm gonna wait until it comes up to a light bubble, and I'm gonna get started on my chicken. Now some people like to shred it, but I don't like it shredded because I think that the strands are real long, and when you take a spoonful of your soup, I don't like to see those long strands of chicken. So I like to just give it a rough chop. See, just like this. So it's all ready, just a rough chop. It's better than stringy chicken. So I'm gonna put it back into my bowl. I'm gonna cover it up until I'm ready to use it. You wanna make sure that you keep it covered up, otherwise it'll dry up on you and you don't want that. So it's been 17 minutes and I'm adding my chicken in here. See, I like to add it at about 17 minutes because I'm gonna give it just a few minutes after I put the chicken in and I don't want to overcook my rice. Look at how beautiful this looks. So perfect. Now this would also be a good time for you to remove your bay leaves. So you wanna remove your bay leaves. They've done their job. So now I'm gonna add some cilantro. You can add as much as you want. And that's good. Now this would be a good time for you to taste it and see if it needs a little bit of salt. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And I think this is gonna be good. So I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let it simmer like that for five minutes. Oh, this is perfect. Now I'm ready to top my chicken tortilla soup. Now I've got freshly grated Colby Jack cheese. You can use any kind of cheese that you want. And I like to grate it nice and thick. Got some of my tortilla strips. 
and just a little bit more of the cheese up here on top. Oh, I've got some slices of avocado. You can put these right here on the side. Oh, beautiful. And I've got some lime wedges. I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice up here on top. Look at that. I'm so ready to taste this. Oh, man. And the tortilla chips. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Oh, look at this. Mm. This is absolutely divine. Perfect, any time of the year. So this is my delicious chicken tortilla soup. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.